Welcome to Mac Helpers. Let's go back into numbers here. And let's go keep using the same document I have been using, or the same spreadsheet, I should say. And now let's really go into the details of how to share your document. And this is great whether you're sharing it with fellow coworkers, a boss, a teacher, whatever it may be. Uh, this is the icon to use is the little square with the arrow on it. And it's the same thing from going here or going it from the dashboard, except it's only the only thing, the only difference is it switches which side it's on. So let's go back in and do it from this section like I was just showing you. Click the little icon there, it pops up, share link via iCloud, send a copy, open another app. So let's go ahead and share a link via iCloud. So what this does is it actually just creates a link for you to share. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on a message of it and then it brings up the message bar. So I'm gonna send it to my fellow Mac helper, Sean. And then you just can type in any name there and it's gonna give you that person's phone number. So. Bam, it gives you that link. I'm going to click send. And he's probably going to ask what this was, but he knows I'm filming this today. So that shouldn't matter. Now, the next icon is, see now, see how it turned to a little two-person little thing there? Now it's showing that I've, I've shared this via iCloud. So then he's going to be able to see and see exactly what I'm doing to the document. So then I could see how it came up with this little uh, little gear there, and it's gonna sh say view shared settings. So now what this does is you can go on there, and there's the link, so you can copy the link and share it to somebody else, or you can click permissions. And this would, let's say you wanted to your teacher to see it, or let's say uh, your employees, you wanted them to see it, but you didn't want them to edit. You only wanted them to allow to see it. And so Apple kind of gives you a little cheat under there. It says, allow others to view the spreadsheet on the web, but not edit it, or allows others to edit this web, uh, spreadsheet on the web. And so that just kind of give you, like if you're kind of collaborating, it, it's just a great way to do that. So you can hit stop sharing, send a link, add password, all that good stuff. And once again, you can hit the question mark and it's kind of give you a little bit more about sharing and editing a spreadsheet on the iCloud. And then so we click done. I'm going to click stop sharing. And then I'll see how that, light, that icon went back to normal. Go back there. Now let's go ahead and show how to send a copy. Send a copy. Now if there was a, a device local I could share it with my AirDrop, or you can go ahead and message it, mail it, iTunes, or if you had a remote server, you can do it that way. So let's go ahead and click mail. And it's gonna ask you what format you wanna send it in. So if you're sharing it through mail, that's that's one difference between doing an iCloud link versus sharing it. With sharing it, you're sending it more as for them to have a, their own version of it. Whereas sharing a, a copy via iCloud, it's kinda of, you're both working on the same document. And so let's go ahead and click on, let's say you everything was finalized and you just wanted somebody to look at it and say, okay, how, what do you think of how this looks? You'd want to click like a PDF document. It's going to convert it for you and then it's going to pop open the window of who you want to send it to. Um, then it should bring up, uh, you start typing in just like you send any other document. Go ahead and click cancel there. You, can, I mean, you really just edit it just like you would send a normal email. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete, delete the draft. The last one is open in another app. Now, what this means is you, just like before, it's going to give you different options, numbers, PDF, Excel, CSV, and let's go ahead and say I want an Excel file. Let's say because you're using, let's say you only have a PC computer or at school, they only have PC or work, they only have PCs. Then you could save it as an Excel file, then you could choose the app, or with that, if you were sending it to yourself via email so you can open it up at your computer at work, then you just send it, you wouldn't share it via, or you wouldn't open another app. But in this case, let's say I wanted to open it up in um, Dropbox. You click Dropbox, bam, it takes you over to Dropbox. Pretty cool, just another way to have it saved there. Then you can click save or cancel, but I, I don't need to do all that. So let's go ahead and double tap and go right back into it. So that's basically it for sharing. And I think like once again, sharing via iCloud is one of the cooler ways when that's when you're collaborating. When you're working on something together, that is the best way to do it is via iCloud. If you want to have your own versions and you your partner's doing one thing and you're wanting to do another thing and then you collaborate at the at the end, then you want to maybe just share it share just a copy. So that's basically it for sharing. If you guys have any questions at all, definitely don't hesitate. We're here to help you guys. Info at yourmachelpers.com or just go to yourmachelpers.com, find the help link and submit your questions there and we'll get back to you as soon as possible, usually within 24 hours. Thanks and yeah, definitely hit us up with any questions.